Anyway, so that doesn't surprise me. Now, Jess, you need a quiz. I want you to keep track of your games. Really? You actually need page two. I'll give you the whole thing. So let's real quick. I want to explain. Oh, oh, good. Very nice. I want to real quick explain craps to you. Now the instructions are there. The rules are there. And this is the most basic form of craps betting. So you're, it's called the pass pass line bet or pass bet. You roll the dice. When do you win? Give me one example where you win after you bet a dollar or a bet a starburst. Okay, let's go with the simplest way to win. Roll a seven or roll an 11. That's the simplest way to win because if I bet a starburst and I roll a seven or 11, the casino hands me two back. Now, remember, I bet one. They hand me two back. So really, I've cleared one starburst, haven't I? That's the easiest way to win. That's the easiest way to win. What's a slightly trickier way to win? Roll either a four or a five or a six or an eight or a nine or a 10. And then you're not done yet. You don't win right then, do you? You then have to keep rolling. And you'll win if you roll that number again before you roll a seven. Before you roll a seven. If you roll a seven, you're out and you lose your ante. But if, say if you roll a six, and then you roll a six again before rolling a seven, that means you win two to one payout. It's extraordinarily interesting. So what I did was, I, I, exactly Ashley, when I first heard the rules, I was like, what the hell? So what I did was, I modeled a game for you. I played a game, follow with me here, follow with me. Okay, on the first page is explaining the rules. On the second page, I decided to play the game for you and to show you the results of me playing 10 games. So the first game, I bet a Starburst to play. And what did I roll? It's kind of hard to see over there in the corner. I rolled a three, a one, and a two. I, had, I downloaded that from my phone. I couldn't take good pictures that day. So I, I used an app to roll dice for me. If you roll a three on your first roll, that's crapping out. If you roll a two or a three or a 12 on your first roll, you're out. That's crap. You always hear about snake eyes, right? You always hear about snake eyes. That's a bad roll. Well, a three and a 12 are also bad rolls on the first roll. Is that fair? So that's, yeah. opposite, that's opposite of your four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Exactly. Right. So every, exactly. Pam, the game's a lot to keep track of. The game is a lot to keep track of because every single roll on the first throw of the dice means something. It either means you crap out, which is two, three, or twelve. It means you win, which is seven or eleven, or it means you set your point, which is everything else. And that's what I get into in all my examples here. Fair enough? Okay, here we go. Here we go. My first round, I crapped out and I lost a starburst. Now I'm down to nine. Everybody following that so far? I crossed out the starburst. That shows my ante being lost. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah. Next round, what did I roll? I even odds win, which means I rolled an 11. Boom, that's called an even odds win. I don't know why they call it that, but it is. It's not even odds at all. It's actually very, very anti-even odds. But anyway, I rolled an 11. You see over there? I rolled an 11. That means I won. That means I bet an ante, but they gave me two back. Fair enough? So that means I got back the loss that I lost on the first. Fair enough? Yeah. Cool, now I'm back. I guess you can call it even odds that way, although there's no guarantee it was gonna happen. All right, boom, now I rolled seven. I rolled a seven, which means now if you count those starbursts, I'm up to 11. Th round three, I rolled a seven. If you count those starbursts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I'm up to 11 now, which means I should stop playing. But we'll get back to that later. But I'm up now, I'm up a starburst. Gooby so far? But I'm making you play 10 times. Why? Two reasons. A, I'm a bastard, and B, I want you to analyze the mathematics of what happens when you play 10 times. A wise gambler will quit while he's ahead or she's ahead. But not all gamblers are wise. And that, that lack of wisdom helps us understand the game better. Cool? Keep playing! My first seven out. Okay, this is what happens when you roll a point first. Or this is what can happen. So you know, the first roll over there, I rolled four and five, which means I rolled a nine, correct? Mm -hmm. Now my job is to roll nine again before rolling a seven. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't. The next roll was a seven. And that means I lost. Seven is magic on the first roll, and it's shite any other time. Please, Ash. So you must get the same as the first time you rolled. Correct. It doesn't have to be, correct, the same sum. It doesn't have to be a four and a five. Yeah. It could be a three and a six but you have to get the same sum as your point in order to win that round. Jesse, me, you guys are gonna play together, this is perfect. <laughs> Grab 10 starbursts. 
you would at your, at your bank, and then I'll be the bank for the rest. Okay, what are we up? That was my fourth round, yes? Okay, so now I'm back to 10, I believe, correct? Yes, I'm down to 10. Now, fifth round, I roll and I get a... Seven. Seven, boom. One more starburst in my pocket. Back to 11. Yes, back to 11. With me so far? See what's, what's happening here? Okay, sixth round. This is a this is totally freaking workout. Totally freaking workout. Look what I rolled first. I rolled a 10. Next roll, I rolled a 9. That roll doesn't matter because it's not a 10, nor is it a 7. Then you keep rolling until you either get a 10 or a 7. So I keep going. Then I got snake eyes. Guess what? Snake eyes doesn't matter when you're in the point rounds. <coughs> snake eyes only matters on the first roll, right? Snake eyes does not have that evilness it has on the first roll within. Then I rolled a 6. Then I rolled a 3. Then I rolled a 6. Then I rolled a 3. Then I rolled a 3. Then I rolled a 6 again. And then I rolled a 7. Damn it. A 7 is not what I wanted. Because a 7, when I'm shooting for a 10, is a bad thing. Yes? So you notice the starburst gets crossed off there. Whew, epic. You can see now why craps gets fun. All these, all these rolls in between are action. Something happening, but they're meaningless mathematically. They mean nothing to the overall game. Fair so far? Okay, next page. Sean, seventh round. Another point round. I rolled an eight first. So now I gotta keep rolling. And then I rolled a nine, and then I rolled an 11, and then I rolled a two and a six. I got my eight back. So that's a point round, which means I won that one. So I get a starburst back. So you see what's happening each round? You're either giving a starburst up or you're getting a starburst back, essentially, is what's going on. You're either losing one or gaining one. Fair enough on the payouts? It's the same payouts we kind of messed around with on Wednesday with roulette when you're doing black and black versus red. All right, eighth round. Boom. I rolled a seven. Another starburst back to me. Fair enough? Fair enough? Good so far? All right, good. Ninth round, I rolled a 10 first. Then I rolled an 11. Then I rolled a seven. Damn it. Seven. In the point round is a bad thing, yes? Good, so I'm off of Starburst. And last, 10th round, I rolled a five, that's a point. Then I did a 10, then I did a nine, and then I did a seven. So I lost another Starburst. So what do I, what do I end up with down here at the end of the day? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm actually back where I started, aren't I? That's kind of fun. So now, what I did down at the bottom here was I kept track of what happened on each round, just like you guys will. On the, on the last page of the quiz, you'll see a won and lost column for each of you guys. We'll get to that in a second. So a, I, I got lost, won, won, lost, won, lost, won, won, lost, lost. So I ended up breaking even. Cool? But the thing is, that's only 10 observations of the game, which is hardly enough to actually analyze what's going on in the game. That's why we're playing it today. I want you guys to play it to collect some more data, and then when you're done playing, we'll regroup all our data together and see if we can come to any kind of conclusion. Maybe, maybe breaking even is what happens on, on average. I'm guessing it's not, because <laughs> Vegas doesn't like breaking even. Right. Vegas likes having its... Lights turned on. Oh, good! <laughs> I was going to go with House Edge, but lights on is, is a much better explanation of that. off the food and the drinks and all the stuff you spent while you're How about there? the drinks they give away for free? Right. No, that's true. Right, but so you have to ask yourself, how do they have enough money to do that? Oh, gee, I wonder. We're about to find out. Cool? Good for you, Amy. Good for you. Okay, you guys ready? So, your job now is to play the game 10 times each day. Yes? Why did you lose two on the 10th round? Why did I lose two on the 10th round? I didn't. I had lost one from the 9th round. I have another X next to it. He's showing the total. That's all. I'm showing the total as I'm going. So, when I, when I went above 10, I threw starbursts on. And then I'm Xing them out as I lose them. Is that fair? So, if you look at the very end, there's actually 12 starbursts there. I started with 10. But because I lost the last two rounds, I'm back down to 10. Is that fair? Cool? Good enough? Now, you guys don't have to draw pictures while you play. Just keep track. Fair enough? And I got the bank next to Mimi over there. So as you guys are playing, if you need more, for example, if Mimi plays on the first round and wins, she's going to need a starburst given to her. Don't give them, don't give them a starburst out of your own 10. The person not playing first, keep those. I want you to bet those 10, yes? I gave you 10 so you could bet one each game. I mean, you could lose one every single game, right? It's possible. Not probable, but it's possible you lose every single game, which means you'd have to have 10 to cover yourself and then walk out with nothing. So that's, that's why I want you to keep those 10. If more are needed, just grab me and I'll come around with the bank. Cool? Okay. Make sense? Gamble! Go! Have fun! Gamble!